Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading. Wanted to show you one of the projects I have to work on this weekend because of a natural disaster mishap, I guess you'd say, on our lower deck. <laughs> Let me turn the camera around for you. So as you can see, the uh, garden box, we got a lot of rain this last week and it decided to drop the bottom out of it. I'm glad this happened now instead of when I had it fully growing this summer. So I'm going to be putting in some new structural components to this, you know, putting some anchors in each of the corners, some metal brackets, that way it'll help to uh, strengthen this. But it looks like I can salvage most of the plants that are in here. Like I'll, I'll save that uh, Betamix salad, I'll just kind of scrape it off and I'm going to put a tarp over here and then just kind of scoot all the dirt over here and then I'll refill the box. And then as I'm refilling the box, I'll take out the stuff that was, uh, you know, getting scrapped from last year and I will put in the new stuff from under the house, like the chard, the rainbow chards. More than likely, I'm going to rebuild this box at the same time. So I'll take this rainbow chard and put it with the other rainbow chard in that box. So I'll transition this box all over to that box, and then I'll scoop all the dirt out of this one, and I'll rebuild it as well. But I thought you guys might kind of find that funny, because Paula said, you know, called me up at work and said it sounded like a tree fell down in the backyard, and this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. I guess that's the nature of having all this garden stuff on your homestead. It gives you something to do. It keeps you outdoors. I mean, I would rather be out here than sitting inside and watching the boob tube. All right. Well, I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. But this has been Brian from PB Homesteading. Talk to you guys again. Bye. All right. This is part two of the uh, rebuild the garden boxes on the lower deck wanted to give you guys a little shot of what I've done and uh, what I've got put into the boxes now. Okay, I rebuilt both the boxes so now they actually have a little bit you know less soil in them so I've got about 12 inches in there now instead of 18. I noticed that down the very bottom it was looking a little bit anaerobic so I wanted to lessen the depth in that and so I put in a few structural braces across the bottom between each box so I've got a 4x4 connecting each there's a big 4x4 that goes across on brackets inside of here now with the cross braces going across, so there's no way this thing's going to fall apart now. But uh, I've got all the rainbow chard, or rainbow, uh, well, it's not rainbow chard, like rainbow chard, I believe, is in this area. This here's the beta salad mix, and then we got the arugula on the end. So this is going to be a nice garden box for uh, salads this spring. And then we got the kale. We moved over from what used to be in this box. And then we got the garlic chives there, and I think I'm going to plant in this area. We'll probably be putting in some parsley. So it'll be a nice little addition in there for Paula for the spring. And then this here is the white Russian kale that used to be under the house that was sitting out over on the bench out there for a while. And uh, it's in here now. And then what we're going to do in this spot here is we're going to put the two different chards we have in the salad bar grow LED area right now. So I left space for those, and then on the end here, we're probably going to be putting in, I don't know if I'm going to put another salad mix or another chard. I haven't decided yet, because I mean, this, this, this whole box may end up just being chard. But that's kind of the, uh, the update. Got the deck all cleaned up, so Paula's happy now. But she's still going to do her uh, spring scrubbing of the deck. <laughs> all right. Well, this is the update for the lower garden boxes that had the... Uh, explosive blowout last week when I was at work. <laughs> but they're all back together and uh, ready to go for spring. All right. This has been Brian with PMB Homesteading. Talk to you guys again. If you haven't noticed, I'm a little bit soaking wet here because <laughs> it's been raining all weekend. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys.